Skin softening in Photoshop is one of those things that can lead to just kind of plasticky looking skin and it looks really fake. So this is one of those techniques that we can do, but we got to keep it subtle. So go ahead and open up prog.jpg if you want to follow along with this example, or you can open any photo, portrait photo that you have that you can see the skin pores and that's fine, but you just want it to be just a little bit softer. We don't want to make this plastic looking effect where there's no skin pores left, there's no detail, there's no texture. So first thing we want to do is press Control J on the PC or Command J on the Mac. That'll duplicate the background layer. So we have two layers that are exactly the same. Then we got to add a blur to this top layer. So go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Really depends on your photo, how much you want to blur it. So with this example, I mean, if you went all the way up to like 20, 30, it's going to be way too much. Uh, for this example, it's not too large of a file, so I'm going to keep it at 5 pixels around there. So if you just look at the resulting image, and you can st still see a little bit of detail, and you can tell what part of the photo is, that, that should work. All right, so I'm going to hit OK. And then we want to change the opacity here, where it says 100%. Bring that down uh, maybe to about 50 or 60, something like that. We're not going to leave it there because it would look too fake. Uh, but we're just going to keep it there for now so we can see through. So about 60% is fine. We need to add a layer mask, but we want to mask it all out to begin with. So we're not just going to click Add Layer Mask. We're going to hold Alt on the PC here, Option on the Mac, Add Layer Mask. And now we're going to paint some of those pixels back in. So choose a nice soft edge brush, hardness set to zero, and then make sure the foreground color is white. And then just click and drag, not obviously on the eye, the nostrils, some of the lines here, uh, the teeth, the lips, eyebrows, the edge of the face. You want to stay away from there, but just like, like right here. You just want to soften that up a little bit and you don't want to get too close to the edge where you can kind of tell and you want to stay away from there as well if you click and drag over somewhere that you didn't mean to again you can paint black in it will mask it out so something like this also right here on the chin and you can press left and right bracket of course as usual and mask out and change the size of the brush as we brush. I went a little bit too far there, so I'm gonna press X so it'll flip. So now black is in my foreground. I'm gonna paint that on the edge there, make sure the edge was not blurred. We don't want blurred edges there. Hit X again, white's the foreground. I'm gonna make a large brush and just kind of paint the shoulder area here. All right, something like that. So you can hold Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and click the mask and see if you need to add in some areas. Uh, let's just say you had you know, an area right here that wasn't filled in. Then we can just paint it in while we're on the mask and then we can make sure that we're getting that all. I think right here as well. All right, so now we need to bring the opacity down. So bring that down a bit, probably to like as low as we can without losing the effect. So 20 is pretty good. I think 30 is okay. And you can see the before and the after. It just creates a softer look on the skin. And we can still edit this mask if we want to click and drag a little bit there. And we can zoom in, of course. I'm just doing it quickly for the lecture, but you can really fine tune it. All right. So that's a quick way to soften skin in Photoshop.